Hello and welcome to Tail Physics and today I'm going to talk about Bulmer lines. Now Bulmer lines are something really important to the initial classification of stars and they are associated with hydrogen. Now hydrogen, uh, it was hypothesized that for a star to be very 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 hot and very 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 uh, uh, sort of bright would imply that it would have to have a lot of hydrogen in it and not just any hydrogen slightly excited hydrogen to be able to actually fuse now just to re remind you that hydrogen is the basic fuel for any main sequence star so the idea of that looking at hydrogen absorption and emission spectra was really important to the initial classification of stars now what i mean by slightly excited is that Hydrogen itself, to fuse, must have some energy to be able to overcome that strong nuclear force. Which is why, when they were looking at the absorption and the emission spectra, they were specifically looking at hydrogen that had been excited to have the electrons in the second energy level of the hydrogen itself. So when they were looking at the absorption and emission spectra, they were specifically looking for the lines that associated with any electron that started at n equals 2. And these lines are called Balmer lines. Just to remind you, the whole idea of absorption and emission is the idea that this electron here becomes excited, it will go to, a, um, it will go to another energy level, it will come back down because it cannot stay there and it will emit a photon. Now, by starting at n equals 2, there are a specific number of wavelengths that n equals 2, this Balmer line, corresponds to. And these, if I just grab them on here, would be 656. So 656 nanometers. 486, 434, and 410. So what the scientists actually looked at was looked for these specific lines for the n equals 2 and saw how prominent they were in a star's spectra. When they, if they were prominent, they were a star that was deemed to be high in hydrogen that was ready to fuse. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to project onto the board a picture of Balmer lines, okay, to show you. I'm also going to put it onto the screen as well, um, so I'm going to flash it up now. And I'm going to flash it up, of course, at the end of the video as well. But this is something that is used um, to explain what I mean by these strong, prominent Bulmer lines. Okay, so I'm just going to rub the board off and I'm going to project it onto the screen. So this here is a spectra of different stars. And what I'm going to focus on are these black lines here. Now this is an A-class star, which initially was classified as having very strong Balmer lines. And as you can see here, and if you want to look at it a little bit more closely on the image at the end, this here, there's a very dark region. And as I go, a, so this is A here, A and then B, it starts getting dimmer. And then when I go to like F and G and K and M and O, these lines are not there, okay? And that is because this idea of Balmer lines being associated with hydrogen. I'm going to turn the um, screen off, okay? So these dark regions, which you can see on this photo here, are associated with these Balmer lines. Now, the thing is, is that what happened eventually when they classified all the stars from A to Z, they realized that some stars were actually a little bit different, that they did have some hydrogen, 
but it was slightly different. In fact, they were so hot that they didn't emit the spectra from n equals 2, they emitted the spectra from n equals 3. And we had to re then reclassify all the stars. So instead of reclassifying all the stars, we just changed the order that they were in. And this is to do with the star classification, which will be in my next video. So Balmer lines are this idea that energetic hydrogen emits a very certain spectra of light. And initially it was thought that if you were strong in Balmer lines, you had lots of hydrogen in there to fuse. So therefore we're a much hotter star. However, this was discovered much later that this wasn't the case and that some stars were even hotter than expected and would have what we call passion lines, but you don't need to know that for the spec. So that there is the basic of what are Balmer lines.